representative from House District Number 100 will no longer be admitted to this floor, house anteroom, or house gallery. The representative has the option to continue to participate remotely by voting only in floor proceedings via the process currently in place for the duration of the session until the 68th legislature adjourns sine die. Mr. Speaker. Last week, I spoke on the governor's amendments to Senate Bill 99, which banned gender-affirming care. This was a bill that was one of many targeting the LGBTQ community in Montana. Pattern of unwillingness to listen. And I rose up in defense of my community that day, speaking to harms that these bills bring and that I have firsthand experience knowing about. So when I rose up and said, there is blood on your hands, I was not being hyperbolic. I was speaking to the real consequences of the votes that we as legislators take in this body. And when the speaker asks me to apologize what he is, uh, on behalf of decorum, what he is really asking me to do is be silent when my community is facing bills that get us killed. I've been found guilty, but at the same time... This body holds dear the right to self-protection. We today are exercising this right based on the inappropriate behavior on the House floor of the representative from House District 100 on April 24, 2023. This behavior violated the collective rights and safety of 99 other members of this body. We stood with our community. We told the truths that we live every day. We hoped you would listen. And now we're far beyond um, the rules that allow us to debate issues here. Um, but just because you can do it does not mean that's the right choice. I think it's the wrong choice. Um, I hope we don't make it today, but if we do, we'll have to move on and see if we can get the work of Montanans done. The disciplinary actions that are proposed from my perspective are reasonable and prudent. The cause has been established and I urge the body to vote in favor of this motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. All those in favor of the majority leader's motion, vote aye. Those opposed vote no. Mr. Speaker, 68. Representatives vote aye. 32 have voted no. Motion passes. Majority Leader Vinton. And that's what we're seeing, is we are seeing a speaker utilize an undemocratic um, application of decorum um, to silence those who held him accountable. And I'm unsurprised that he doubled down on that. House will reconvene at 8 a.m. on Thursday, April 27th. The House is adjourned. I wasn't certain what they were going to do. Um, I think they're aware that if, if they would have expelled me, my community and um, the Democratic Party in Missoula uh, would send me back here in a heartbeat because I represent them and I represent their values by standing up for democracy. 